Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the list of top 15 best vulnerability scanner or tools that are available in cybersecurity. Well, without wasting any time, we are going to move on to number one on our list, which is actually Rapid7 Insight VM. The Rapid7 Insight VM is a premium open source vulnerability scanning solution. What is great about it is that it automatically scans and accesses physical, cloud and virtual infrastructures. Some of the pros that we get with Rapid7 Insight VM include the support for multiple operating systems, including Linux, Windows and Windows Server. It updates its processes and rescans whenever it detects a new exploit. It has the ability to create recommendations on security policy changes. It can easily assign and track remediation duties. Now some of the cons that we get with Rapid7 is that it requires a quite large amount of RAM and there is a lot of issues with scans running long out of nowhere causing resources issues for the next scan and devices found and scanned are never removed. Removal must be done manually with no option for automation at all. Anyways, number 2 on our list we have the Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. So the Burp Suite provides automated vulnerability scanning tools for both internal and external testing. Now it is designed to scan at any scale and integration with software development processes. Moreover, its varied tools work seamlessly together to support the entire testing process. Well, it's such a great tool that we must talk about its pros. Well, the pros of Burp Suite Enterprise include the automated bulk scanning and simulated scenarios, the capability for manual penetration testing and configuration tweaks. It has great extensions through the store that can extend its functionality. Some of the cons that we get with Burp Suite Enterprise Edition is that it does not describe how to test different vulnerabilities which can be a challenge if you are a new user of this particular tool and it takes quite some time to actually set it up and the interface is quite outdated and uses tabs for everything anyways number three on our list we have the nikto 2 now nikto 2 is an open source vulnerability scanning tool that focuses on web application security nikto 2 can alert you to server configuration issues and perform web server checks in the shortest possible time Nikto2 is a frequently updated tool that allows you for broader vulnerability coverage. Some of the pros of Nikto2 include the ability to generate reports when a vulnerability is detected, external checks for web application, and also the fact that it thoroughly checks numerous exploits that paid vulnerabilities manages to seek. Now some of the cons of Nikto2 include that it won't work without a paid vulnerability list and it does not contain a development and support team. Anyways, number 4 on our list we have the Qualys Vulnerability Management. Now the Qualys Vulnerability Management Scanner works behind the firewalls in complex internal networks. Now this tool can scan cloud environments and detect vulnerabilities in geographically dispersed networks. It also monitors containers and endpoints. Some of the pros of Qualys is that it has a unified dashboard for security posture. It has an ease of configuration and control management. It provides reporting and alerting mechanism. Talking about some of the cons of Qualys is that it can show up many false positives. The navigation is pretty complex and involves a lot of pages to click through and some task selected sensors are automated. Anyways, number 5 on our list we have the Nisus. Now Nisus is one such software that offers deep vulnerability scanning through a subscription based service. Now hackers use Nisus to identify misconfiguration, discover default passwords and perform vulnerability assessment. Some of the pros of Nisus include that it can constantly update the CVE database. It has multiple profile and policies to perform different types of scan and it ranks and groups vulnerabilities accurately with as little configuration. And it is quite affordable than similar tools on the market. Some of the cons of Nisus include that scanning larger data set is a very difficult task and it takes a long time to complete scans. Anyways, number 6 on our list we have the NetSparker. Now NetSparker is another web application vulnerability tool with the automation to detect vulnerabilities. The device can also find thousands of web application vulnerabilities within hours. This is an enterprise grade paid vulnerability tool, but it has many advanced features as well. There are scanning techniques that scan applications for vulnerabilities. Some pros of the NetSparker include that there are many DevOps integrations that are possible with NetSparker and it is designed for a larger organization and there is an extreme amount of customization for scanning any web application. Some of the cons of NetSparker include that it offers a very few flexible plans and it even has a very few vulnerabilities that can be detected compared to its competitors and the desktop version consumes so many resources. Anyways, at number 7 we have the AT&T Cybersecurity. So the AT&T Cybersecurity Vulnerability Scanning Solution is delivered as a managed service. Evidently, it helps identify security vulnerabilities in systems, web applications and network devices. A vulnerability scanner is a part of more effective tool that includes SIEM and intrusion detection. 
Now some of the pros of AT&T's cybersecurity include that it offers threat intelligence, collaborative defense security without the seams, and solutions that fit any business. It also empowers companies to protect endpoints against cyber threats. It also allows organizations to terminate malicious processes, quarantine infected devices, and roll back events to keep the endpoints clean. Some of the cons of AT&T security include that this product is very complex and the implementation is very clunky and very difficult. Anyways, at number 8 we have OpenVAS. Now OpenVAS or Open Vulnerability Assessment Scanner is an open source vulnerability detection software. The platform offers a variety of scan options including network scan, web server scan and database scan. This tool is capable to scan low and high levels protocols and by all means it has a very powerful internal programming language to implement any type of vulnerability test. Some pros of OpenVAS include the support for Unix based operating systems. It has a built in functionality of generating reports of the vulnerabilities found and the severity. Its source code is public and anyone can contribute to the tool. Some cons of OpenVAS include that it compares to less vulnerability. It provides a limited OS support and it is quite difficult to install, configure and use. At number 9, we have W3AF. So W3AF or Web Application Attack and Audit Framework is a free and open source tool. Now this tool is used for detecting vulnerabilities in web applications. It can build a framework that helps protect web applications by detecting and exploiting vulnerabilities. Some of the pros of W3AF include that it is very modular and flexible. It can be installed seamlessly in Linux environments and it is the best tool for beginners as it is easy to learn, install and use. Some of the cons of W3AF include that it contains a high level of false negatives. Its Windows version is very hard to install and it has a very complex graphical user interface. Before moving to number 10 on our list, you should check out Infra SOS. Because with Infra SOS, you can create Active Directory and Office 365 reports using our SAAS user reporting and auditing tool, which can in turn make sure that your users are secure. So the link for the Infra SOS website is going to be in the description box. Now at number 10, we have the Alibaba Cloud Managed Security Service. So Alibaba offers a SAAS based managed service for port scanning and vulnerability assessment to eliminate false positives. Now to prevent reputational damage, the service uses machine learning to identify web and backdoor vulnerabilities, illegal content and site manipulations. Some of the major pros that we get with Alibaba Cloud Managed Security Service is that it is widely used by large organizations. It provides dynamic acceleration abilities, dynamic content delivery network and a professional safeguard. Some of the cons include that it has a potential compliance issue and it lacks in customer service. Anyways, at number 11, we have the Intruder.io. Now the Intruder.io provides a suite of penetration and vulnerability scanning tools. Organization can use Intruder.io to conduct a single assessment or to constantly monitor their environment for threats. Its pros include the easy to use interface that lets you get scanning quickly, straightforward and publicly viewable pricing model, and also its scans allow for tagging to help organize grouping. Some of the cons of Intruder.io include that it offers little in-depth reporting and the support for passwordless workflows for the authenticated web app scanning is quite wonky. At number 12 we have Arachne. Now Arachne is also a vulnerability tool dedicated to web application. Now this tool covers multiple vulnerabilities. The archaeologist provides facilities for risk assessment and suggests advice and countermeasures to vulnerabilities that are found during the scan. The pros of Arachne include that it progresses through all of the critical tests. It offers both a command line interface and a browser based GUI. It provides an impressive output and insightful explanation and it offers a wide range of testing modes. Cons of Arachne include that it takes a long time to run and it has been abandoned by now. At number 13, we have the Amazon Inspector. So Amazon Inspector is an automated security assessment service. You can scan any application deployed on Amazon and scale it to Amazon EC2 instances. So after scanning and vulnerability assessment, the tool provides a detailed list of potential vulnerabilities classified by risk level. The pros of Amazon Inspector includes that it automates the security assessment of your application and proactively identifies vulnerabilities. It allows you to develop and iterate new applications quickly and assess compliance with best practices and policies. It performs both on a network and a host level assessment and it has the ability to solve problems automatically without human interference. The cons of Amazon Inspector include that the billing for Amazon Inspector is a little bit tricky when you set it up for work with other services and there is lack of some of the custom protections. At number 14 we have the Nmap. Now Nmap is a free open source network analysis tool popular among many security professionals. 
Now it uses probe technology for network host finding and operating system detection. This feature helps to identify vulnerabilities in a single or multiple networks. The pros of Nmap include the ability for scanning methods to avoid IDs. It offers a GUI functionality through Zenmap and it has a comprehensive port scanning of both TCP and UDP ports. The cons of Nmap however include that it does not update as frequently as other paid tools and on Windows not all functions are available. And if you do not limit your scan range, a command can take a really long time to actually complete. Last on our list we have Acuntex. Now Acuntex only scans web-based applications but its multi-threaded scanner can quickly crawl hundreds and thousands of pages and detect common web server configuration issues. So this makes it the perfect tool for checking WordPress. Some of the pros of Acuntex include the low rate of false positive, good reporting options, authenticated scans and the support for importing state files from other popular application testing tools. Now the cons of Acuntex include the poor user management, it does not support multiple endpoints well and it has authentication problems with modern enterprise applications. Anyways, that brings us to the end of our list. Now if you still want to learn more about these tools then you can check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new with this video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.